Today is a beautiful day for science. Currently we're looking at an M9.62 solar flare that occurred at 1643 UTC on 16 May of 2023 off the southeastern rim of the sun. This event is a fast onset. Taking a closer look at this event, it is also partially occulted. This means that the event at its most significant peak of the flare was higher than what we saw. So there's a great chance this was actually an X-class flare, being it was occulted, as we can see on 1600 angstroms, where it shows us the surface or the photosphere of the sun. So looking at this, we can see that this was both an explosive and a sudden onset. And additionally, it was rapidly uh, reduced as well. It, it rapidly dissipated. The chronomass ejection that did occur, uh, not really seeing a rapid onset of ICME type activity here. This might actually not have caused an ICME despite the fact of its uh, significant flare size. But uh, given some time, we'll be able to analyze that through the SOHO and Stereo Ahead uh, satellites. But what we do see in looking at 1600 angstroms leading on to uh, 0094 angstroms, we could see that the amount of uh, surface motion that occurred was rather significant, thus the sudden onset. Now, while we can't quite get a good view uh, where it's at at the moment. It would be nice to see what we can from HMIBC, so let's pull that up as well and uh, get a good view of what we can see of the surface polarity uh, in that analytical display here. So let's go ahead and get to that and see if we can see anything. And well, the answer is no, <laughs> but you never know until you try. Uh, currently looking at it, we always see as a negative field, barely anything showing on this. So, yeah, it's going to be another maybe a whole day before we can really analyze what's happening within the region, how it's designed, layout, and all that jazz. So it's going to be rather exciting to take a view. All right, as such, that is the update. Definitely have something exciting rotating onto the, uh, the Earth-facing disk, which is the portion of the sun that is viewable by Earth. And it looks like it's maybe a day to even two days before we get a full view of whatever this region layout is. Uh, we're already seeing a rim view of it, but uh, only the leading portion, not much to be able to analyze there and not much to can actually impact us from a direct event so definitely something to keep an eye on but that's about it so cheers and science on